Here we will demonstrate how to open and start late model push button start large SUVs from General Motors with a dead key fob. And yes, there is a way to get in and get going. Models include the Cadillac Escalade, Chevrolet Tahoe, Chevrolet Suburban, and GMC Yukon. Further, the Escalade offers a unique take on a hidden keyhole. Our first step is to retrieve the key from the fob. Look for a button on the side of the fob. Push the button and pull the key ring side of the fob with your free hand to remove the key. If a keyhole or cylinder is visible at the rear of the driver's door handle, simply insert the key and turn and you're in the car. On the Escalade, which we have here, a keyhole is not visible. There is an eighth inch thick cap at the rear of the driver's door handle hiding the cylinder. It needs to be removed. You'll first need to pull the door handle open fully as we've done. Next, slide the cap inward and remove it to expose the key cylinder. It will take some force to dislodge the cap. Once the key cylinder is exposed, insert the key and turn, and you're in the car. Don't go to sleep. We're going to start the car now. And to do that, locate a pocket at the front of the center console storage area. In the Escalade, it could be difficult to see without the flash we used. In other GM SUVs, it is closer to the top of the console and more to the right, and easier to see. Slip the key fob into the pocket with the buttons out and the key ring up. It is a loose fit, so don't be concerned. The car will recognize the fob even if the fob's internal battery is dead. Step on the brake and press the start-stop button as you normally would, and you are underway. And this guy is ready to go. Don't forget to get new batteries for your fobs.